So, Cindy and Lois, I, I wanted to ask you a little bit about, you know, a lot of people hear a, a kind of this story and they're like, man, you've, I, I see how you've made the transition over to the paper side of the business, right? The note side of the business. Mm-hmm. Um, and you've obviously had tremendous success. And for some people, it is one of those things that when they hear, oh my gosh, you bought 10, 20, 30 notes in a year. That just sounds like, oh, I can't do it. So what I wanted to ask you is a little bit about your learning curve and what that was like. If you could share kind of with some of the people today what that journey was kind of like to uh, to ultimately end up clicking that button. I know it's not much work, but it takes <laughs> some confidence. It takes uh, you know a little bit of bravery to, to make it happen. So share a little bit about your, your learning curve. You know, we told you in the call that Lois's nephew had introduced us to, mm-hmm. to notes. Right. It wasn't in the. It wasn't in January. It was prior to that. So right. we started doing some a general research on notes and note school, and so we had done some preliminary work before we actually showed up in a class. So we didn't. Because we neither one of us like to walk in just completely with blank slate of information. So we we did some preliminary research. Um, and then we just, I, I can't even say it more, we just saturated ourselves. Instead of strapping on the tool belt nights and weekends, we did notes. Perfect. So we just flipped what we did and we literally saturated ourselves for about five months in notes, uh, note knowledge, let me call it, let me say that. So that we, when we got there, to, there at the point of getting ready to click, we had done <laughs> at the time we thought we had done a lot and sufficient amount of, of learning, but Lois, you can, you know, you might have <laughs> never thought about that, but. <laughs> yeah, I think, um, I think honestly, uh, at our age, we can't make a mistake. So we wanted to make sure that if we were putting money in something, that it was what we thought was going to happen, that we were going to be able to make money and that it was going to be secure. I mean, very honestly, I think that's something that people need to know because there can be a lot of um, real estate uh, experts out there that can, uh, you know, take your money or, uh, you know, and scam you, honestly. And so we wanted to make sure that um, that we researched the entire uh, note school, notes direct, uh, Eddie. We looked Eddie up and, and because it, it was important for us, we didn't have time to make a huge mistake at, uh, you know, mid sixties and recover. So uh, that was part of what we did too, just to make sure that, that we felt that this was legitimate and that uh, it was something that we could do and, and achieve the goals that we had. 